Well, we all know the story told at Christmas about that baby born to a virgin girl, laid in a manger. About the stable, the shepherds, the wise men, the donkey, the star. You'd be forgiven for thinking that's where the story ends, on a note of love and joy and peace and hope, all wrapped up in a lovely, somewhat unrealistic picture of a doting family and some friendly well-wishers. But the story didn't end there. And that wasn't even the beginning. This Jesus was the start of a new chapter in the amazing love story of the Bible. Well, Jesus, you ask, a seemingly ordinary young boy born to a carpenter and a teenage virgin. Well, he grew up like we all do. He became a teenager. He spent time figuring out who he was and why he was here on earth. That sounds pretty normal, right? Well, he was human for sure, but he claimed he was the son of God. He spent time in the temple talking with the religious leaders and said he was in his father's house. It was when he reached the grand old age of 30 that things really started to change. He turned water into wine at a wedding party. He told prejudiced people they were really neighbours and should start loving each other. He chose a group of fishermen to be his best friends. He had meals with the most hated people in town and deliberately spent time with the social outcasts. He calmed a storm just by saying, be still. He made blind people see again. He healed a paralyzed man. People flocked to Jesus. They wanted him to heal them. They wanted what he had to give. He wanted advice on how to live. They wanted what he had to offer, hope and life in the name of God. He was throwing out the laws and rules which said you had to offer your penance for your sins and was telling people simply to come and believe in him and that by believing they would have eternal life. People were ready to break free of the shackles of their religious law. People were itching to find the truth and that's what Jesus offered. Why does all this matter? Well, Easter could be just another nice little story about a kind man and the Easter Bunny. But actually, Easter isn't calm, it isn't quiet, it isn't cute and fluffy, and it really isn't about chocolate. Easter is the story of a radical, countercultural, truly good man who wasn't just a man. He was the Son of God, if you choose to believe it. But not everybody did believe it.